Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? That was a story about a car that launched Ashton Kutcher's career. Yeah, dude, we really need to find your car. But this is a story about another car, this one, and why it may threaten this woman's career. The woman now hiding her face like she just got busted. Oh, dude. Wait till you find out who she is. Good morning, friends and family. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Melanie Flowers, and I'm running for judge of the 257 Family Court here in Harris County. So you guys want an investigation? Absolutely. It, absolutely we do. Janine Hovell Cox is the lawyer for BCM Credit Union. They financed the luxury car at the center of an election eve scandal for Melanie Flowers. The new Range Rover Velar. Fancy high-end vehicle. Absolutely. Okay. So Brand new. This nearly $70,000 luxury SUV is caught up in a divorce case playing out in the 308th District Court at the Harris County Courthouse. I have been practicing predator law for about 21 years now. First time that I've had to deal with a predator case in family court, and I have never seen anything like this before. Felicia Abiola filed for divorce on June 11th of this year. Just two weeks into the case, Melanie Flowers was appointed to be the lawyer to represent the best interest of one of the Abiola kids. The order signed by presiding judge James Lombardino. Flowers is a protege of the judge, and she has certainly cashed in on the friendship. 48 separate court appointments, way more than any other judge has given her. I am a board certified family law attorney that I've been practicing law for over 17 years. Within one month in the Abiola case, Melanie Flowers already claimed $12,000 in legal work done. No invoice, not a single court document filed on behalf of the one child she was helping. Flowers also wanted a lot more money in advance. Two weeks later, Flowers hadn't been paid the now more than $40,000 she wanted. She got the court to sign an order letting her hold on to two expensive luxury cars as collateral until she got her money. The Velar comes with a choice of new engines. Including that fancy Range Rover. But wait a minute, the credit union owns this brand new car until the payments are made, not the family. Their pleas to the court have fallen on deaf ears. It's just been, again, one, one unsubstantiated ruling from this bench after another. Melanie Flowers campaigns that she can better use technology if you elect her as a family judge. The technology in this court goes virtually unused. That's technology that you and I, the taxpayers, have paid for. But it's technology that helped bust Melanie Flowers. She was supposed to hold on to the Range Rover until she got paid, not use it as her brand new personal toy. Maybe Miss Flowers hadn't heard of something called GPS tracking. Hey, you didn't by chance see what car we were driving, did you? Since the car was in the possession of Miss Flowers, it was discovered that the car was being operated on a daily basis to the tune of about 1,200 miles in the span of about 30 days. In a very brief phone call, Flowers admitted to me she drove the car, but only in her valiant efforts to find someone to buy it so she could get paid. Funny, I don't see a for sale sign in the car window, do you? Okay, dude. There it is. Break time's over. Time to find my car. Maybe Flowers was searching for a buyer at the St. Arnold Brewery at night. Or at the Brazoria County Courthouse. Maybe it's just a coincidence that court records show her in court in Angleton that day. We don't have to rely just on GPS tracking. The credit union actually put a tail on Melanie Flowers. And that's where these fun, your busted pictures come from. So that's kind of like unauthorized use of a movie. Absolutely right? it is. Melanie Flowers is no longer representing the best interest of the Abiola child. She filed a motion to get out of the case on October 5th, blaming the parents. Funny, 
That's the same day the credit union demanded a court hearing on those now infamous car pictures. You, you think she got out of this case because she got busted? I, I can't say for sure, but the timing of, of the motion being filed, it just, it just makes me really question the reason why the motion to withdraw was filed. This journey, this race for judge has been many years in the making. It's a journey that includes a refusal to explain why she suddenly wanted out of this divorce case so bad. Why did you remove yourself from the case? Did you hang up on me? I doubt we'll see this picture on any last minute flowers for judge campaign signs. Quite frankly, I wouldn't recommend it. Stay tuned on Facebook and let me hear from you as I want you to hear from me. You can send Melanie Flowers a message on Dolce Fino Consulting on Facebook. You can also send her a message on Election Day, November 6th. Sweet! Yeah. Remember where Melanie Flowers is on the ballot. Dude, there's your car. Oh. <laughs>